Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel and now we will work on a new brush that is introduced in ZBrush 2021.6 and it's called Mesh Balloon. Now it's a very good uh, brush for blocking in uh, like a any so, like sort of a model and then you can uh, go further with it and you can do more details on it. Now how it works, basically you just have to have a a base material like i will use this sphere as a base material let me zoom out from here okay and then oh, what i will do here is that i will just go to my brushes and then m and here you will have mesh balloon now this works like a mask so if you have selected this one and now it says the brush will be selected as the active masking brush. So press control key and then click to use it. So this is how it will work. So when, uh, so if I'll press control key, so it will go back to, uh, like it will go to the uh, mesh balloon here. So this is the mesh balloon. So if you want to change it back to the mask, so you can make it mask as well again. Okay, but I will keep this as a mesh balloon. Now, how it works. First, this is the mesh. Okay, so I have to start from the mesh itself because if I'll press control and start making something, it won't do any sort of a change. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you here is if I will uh, press uh, control here and now if I'll go on here on the uh, mesh itself and then draw something out of it, now you can see a balloon is created. Okay, so if I will press control, make something small, it will make a small balloon out of it. Okay, so and if I will press control and make something like flatter, it will do something like this. So the way you create a uh, like selection, it will draw a balloon based on that. So if I will make it very large, so it will have a large size here. And one thing we can do here is suppose I will press control here, make something like this. Okay, now I'll press control, create something over it, over it. Okay, and it will keep on continuing and I will get this sort of a effect. Now, what if I don't want that? I want, a, uh, I don't want a mesh balloon to create separate op op like objects because if you will see here, if I keep on creating these are separate uh, sub tools which you can go here and you can split them okay and then you will have all of these here now if i if i don't want that okay and let's draw it and if i don't want this to happen so what i can do at this stage is there is a way to do that now, if I will draw here this mesh balloon, and I want to continue from this instead of making a new one. So I will draw from here like I do, but in the end, I will press shift on my keyboard and lift your mouse button or your uh, pen if you're using tablet, and you will get this sort of an effect. Okay, let's do it again. Draw it, press shift, lift your pen or mouse button, and you will get this. In the end, you just have to press shift and then leave your mouse or pen. Shift, leave your mouse or pen, and you will get this. Okay. One more thing I can do is that, press control, draw on top of it, shift and move. So you will not see any changes because it's the same mesh. But if I'll press control and draw on it, and then I will leave it so it will draw over it, which I don't want right now. So I will press control, draw it. And now this time, I will not press shift, I will press alt and then leave my mouse. And you can see it will make a hole out of it. Control, draw, alt, leave it. And then you can see how we are getting this effect. Okay, alt, leave it. So uh, it's, a, it's a very good uh, tool, okay? And it's basically uh, 
you it can be used a lot for for your um like blocking images and those kind of things and one more thing you ha might have noticed so when i was creating these uh balloon meshes notice my uh, lasso here have now a lazy mouse so in the version 2021.6 we have a lazy mouse on the uh like uh, lasso as well so how we can control that we can just go to our uh, stroke okay and then we can go to the lazy mouse here and we can control the radius and the way we like want it so maybe i will increase it more and now at this time i will press control and draw so it is more flowing just the way i want it maybe but i don't want that okay and steps everything smoother let's make it more smoother so if i will go here control and you can see it's more smoother so this, it's, a, it's a good ad here using uh like adding this lazy mouse on the lasso tool which we were actually looking for and try different experiments with this uh, you can make whales you can make some roundish op uh, objects you can start blocking with it and then you can go like, further with it so it's, it's a very good uh tool and i hope you have learned something from it and um uh, one more thing we can do here is that let's uh undo this you can just press uh, x on your keyboard so your symmetry will be on okay uh but let's go to the light box here and load a uh, normal sphere here okay let's see okay so i'll press control and i will draw here and you can see it is drawing on the one on only on the one side so if i'll press x on my keyboard so the symmetry is on so if i'll press control now and draw here so you can see it is going on the same side so shift leave the mouse you can do that also and then control draw and alt leave the mouse and so and in this side if i will do it so it will do something like this so if i make it okay and keep on doing that so you will set this effect okay and if i will move my mouse or my camera and then draw so you can see that this is how I will get the effect here. Shift. Okay. And uh, it will be as a separate object here. So. Okay. So if I will move the camera and then I will try to do this with the shift. So it will create a new out a new object out of it okay so that means if you want to draw something okay with the shift option so make sure you don't move your camera otherwise like suppose here i will draw it and draw over here okay and press shift leave Oops. let's draw something else here shift leave so it will be like that but if i will move the camera and then come back here then draw same and then shift and leave it will draw a separate entity over there okay so make sure when you are uh, when you want to work with the shift don't move your cameras otherwise you will have this so i hope you have learned something uh, in this lesson and thanks a lot for uh, joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously i've noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents i will be uploading soon if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then 
leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And one request I have that is I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing the same, then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hardware paid off and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me to get new subscribers. I will take off now, guys. Take care and wait for surprise coming soon, a new course after the ZBrush. And I hope you will like that. It will be a great, great surprise. A amazing, amazing tutorial I'm working on. A, a full course from, uh, like I call it A to A, like from amateur to advanced, okay? So you will start without knowing, uh, without knowing anything about the software, but once you will complete it, you will well, become like uh, like an advanced user uh, of of that uh, course of that uh, software. So uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute.